You know guys and girls, I've been working on this one for quite some time and I'm going to be super relieved and super proud to have it done for you. Hello YouTubers, this is the Nubifier. I've tested a bunch of gear in the form of joysticks, wheels, controllers and other miscellaneous techie things. I don't often get an opportunity to test a complete sim base system. A sim base, flight chair, driving rig, they all do the same basic thing, but in theory, a little bit more immersive than simply bolting something to a table with some mounts. These aim to approximate whatever you're pretending that you're sitting in. This is also easy until you add more than just the basics, such as MFDs, panels, and extra screens. These two products are meant to simulate planes and spaceships, but it also does a fairly good job at dealing with replicating a car. A sim base must be adjustable, allowing you to put the correct controller into the right place. A sim base must be modular, allowing you to change to suit your needs and should be very intuitive to use. My main experience has been with Monster Tech. They released what was called MTX and after 16 months they released a completely revised design and that was called MTS. I have reviews for both and the main complaint from my viewers wasn't the product or the quality or the design. It was by the time that was shipped, the cost was more than they had or more than they had bargained for. Some would say, screw you, Nubifier, I'm off to build my own. And two months later, they would send me a photo of their creation. I'm not hating on creative people who want to go it on their own. And I'm not disagreeing that things can be expensive. But depending on your disposable income at the time, something like that might be just beyond. Despite me personally knowing that it would be an investment in your gaming future. So we will explore less expensive options right now. Next Level Racing reached out with an offer to review their brand new Flight Seat Pro and Flight Stand Pro. These are two separate products that I've mostly tested separately. There's nothing stopping you from using them together, but when you're on a budget, you can really stretch your money by using one, or you can buy one half of what you need with the plan to buy the other one when you can afford it. One use case would be to use the $600 Flight Seat Pro to replace an office chair with the controls attached and your pedals on the floor. You might use this against a desk relying on the monitor and the PC that's attached there or even VR. Another use case might be the $500 Flight Stand Pro with your office chair, thus turning it into a miniature simulation rig. Aluminum profile rigs are known as 4040 rigs. They're modular and adjustable by their very nature. Next Level would therefore need to do something else to offer this adjustability cheaper. The answer is steel. Steel requires some serious production, so this type of fabrication is reserved for very large companies. This fabrication, when done correctly, can result in a less expensive product that can do what the others do. I was so used to the profile type rig that I needed to see and use it to understand it. I'm going to speak about unboxing and then the build which includes the manual and all the included hardware. I'm going to speak about its strength, build quality, fit and finish and then about the modularity and adjustability. I'm going to render a verdict and hopefully you'll be better prepared to choose. A plain box covers a nicer box. Everything inside is wrapped and taped with bubble wrap. One of my boxes was totally trashed by the shipping company, but nothing was missing and nothing was damaged, which is a real win for next level racing. It is a bunch of packing material, but the cardboard and plastics are recyclable and the bubble wrap is tucked away now for when I need to ship something in the future. The full color manual is great, but I want to speak first about the bolts tray. They ship all of the bolts, tools, washers, and nuts in a vacuum formed carrier mounted to a piece of cardboard. The cardboard is labeled, and this was so much better than little baggies, even if the baggies are labeled. When the assembly job is done, you're going to have spares. So I moved all of those into a plastic divided storage box because I would like to be able to use them in the future. We're going to discuss the manual. It's also next level, and that's pun intended, full color, big clear pictures with the exact hardware listed. Grab the part, find the hardware, and carry out the next step. The tools you need are also there, but there's no reason for you to use them if you have something better. I really like that there's a diagram of each plate that shows you exactly what holes are used to mount each device. In essence, you can use that page to see compatibility. Flight Seat Pro comes with a modest looking chair that can recline. It includes a good quality chair slider, and I'm gonna say it looks like a toy when you see the pictures, but it's really heavy, likely being made out of the same steel. It's thin looking, but it's sturdy and solid. You can adjust the recline and you can even add the included red belts if you wanna spice things up. It's nowhere near as comfortable as a Sparco R100, but that makes sense as the Sparco by itself is the entire cost of this system. Sitting in it for an hour is fine, providing that you take a break. You do have an included lumbar pillow, which is comfortable, but it pushes you even further forward, which is a problem if you are an average or larger size adult. Normally, a chair should extend close to the inner knee to provide comfort and support. The Flight Seat Pro will do this better with the pillow removed. 
Think of a Sparco chair as an easy possible future upgrade. The included chair unbolts in seconds and you can simply bolt up an R100 to replace it in seconds, extending play sessions and improving your comfort. I see these harness belts all the time on sim systems, especially when motion's involved. There's no practical reason to use these despite looking cool, perhaps for role playing or training value as part of a pre-flight check. Assembly was very good because there was a very high QC standard for the build. Sometimes when building this type of construction, some of the bolt holes are tapped poorly or slightly out of alignment. Nothing like that happened during my entire install as every bolt lined up and I could actually finger tighten without needing to resort to brute force. Fit and finish are what you might expect. There are brand markings water jetted all over the place and also stitched into the chair. Nothing excessive for my taste and overall I think it looks really good. None of the black powder coating was damaged or missing on mine and even a quick scratch test survived. I'm going to discuss some of the negatives with this system but I'm going to explain how I overcame them. The system is mounted on lockable wheels which work fine. When using the pedal there's a real chance that you could push yourself away from the flight stand but they do have a couple of included extras. If this occurs, you can swap the wheels out, which do lock, for wide rubberized feet. And if you're planning to use the Flight Stand Pro solo with an office chair, they have a fixed metal channel that you can put the two front wheels into. As I script for this review, I'm always aware that I can be too positive about my experience. As a reviewer, you find faults or oversights, you look for compromises or corners that are cut. I find it hard to find faults here because all of the usual issues that you might have are actually addressed. You can tell that this product isn't the first one they've made. It's as if many people have spent many hours looking at the past or even a competitor's product. It's as if many people have spent many hours making sure that the Pro Series was as good as it could be. The mounts are positionable, interchangeable, and adjustable. They are also plentiful. The mounts, when secured to the correct location, do not move and do not flex within reason. You have the widest range of supported controllers and options to put whatever you like within reason wherever you like. There's a spot for a mouse and a keyboard. This includes two sizes of mouse pad. You can mount a joystick to the left or right for space games. You can mount a HOTAS left and right or choose to center mount a stick to suit the aircraft. You can mount a yoke and flight pedals or even swap over, despite it being called a flight chair, to use it with a wheel and car pedals. I've seen this kind of thing online and I've never taken the time to look at it simply because I had something else. There is a complete ecosystem here from desks, stands, seats, and even options for very basic motion systems. Some of you will look at it and call it cheap due to its price, but that's a really bad way to see this. Next Level Racing really has a good winner here. Really good if you're starting out and unlike some other entry level gear, it is possible that this will outlive other parts. Upgrading to a full aluminum profile rig is the better solution if you want that or if you can afford it. But if you're just starting out and thinking about a single dedicated place to sim from, this set of Next Level Pro products hits a price point that you won't often see while delivering quality. Thank you very much for spending your time with me. These types of videos take a lot of time to test and script. They're only possible with the support of the Patreon backers and companies such as Next Level Racing. Stay tuned for more. Share wherever this type of topic makes sense. Sim safe.